Hello everyone, and welcome to this installment of Off The Streets Productions. In this video, we are going to do a review of the two new singles of Jack White. He released two new singles this past week on Thursday. One is a cover of a Cab Calloway song, which was titled the same, Heidi Ho. And here Jack is doing it for Fear of the Dawn, which comes out on April 8th. And this single also features Q-Tip from a tribe called Quest. Um, it's not the first time Jack and Q-Tip collaborated together, um, but the first time on a single. So uh, this single took a little bit of growing on me. At first, I wasn't too happy with it. Um, it had nothing to do with um, it being different or anything. I just wasn't really feeling it like I feel a lot of his other songs. You know how sometimes you have that vibe with a song. Um, the more I listened to it, the more it kind of grew on me. It reminds me of some of the stuff that he did on Border House Reach, which a lot of people didn't really like. I actually really enjoyed Border House Reach because I felt that that album also showed Jack in a very different light, like how I feel that Fear of the Dawn is going to be. And so far, we have been shown that time and time again uh, with the three singles that we've gotten so far for Fear of the Dawn and the two singles for now two singles well actually three as well uh, if you count count uh taking me back gently as a single for entering heaven alive um but here we are with q-tip and jack white um i like the flow of this i like the beat i like the the approach i like the electronics and synths that he threw in here that bass line is really tight um also, like always, Jack is a pioneer of what he does, and um, I did listen to the Cab Calloway. It was more of like a skit or something. It looked like a little video, um, and it had no real melody of the same of this at all that I noticed, unless I listened to the wrong thing on YouTube. But um, as for the rest of the album let's see how it plays out i continue to see fear of the dawn being very heavy like jack even mentioned in an interview a couple months ago um i think the next single won't come out until after the album and he's already on tour being it's already march 7th and we're gonna get an album in 30 days um, there is also a new um, variant on the Third Man Record Store page. You could order a box set of Fear of the Dawn. I think it's like 30 bucks. You don't have to be a vault member or anything like that. I think it's available to everybody. I have to double check on that myself. Um, also, coming up this weekend, I know this doesn't fit the Jack White review. But there's still some time left of this song, and I've already said enough how I feel about this song. I, I like it now after it has grown on me some, and I do see the very creative aspects of Jack through this, and I love that he collaborated with, some, with someone other than a rock musician or a jazz musician or a blues musician. I really do dig that he collaborated with uh, Q-Tip. I really do dig what Q-Tip brought to the table on this song. So that was Heidi Heidi Ho. Next is going to be Queen of the Bees, which is going to be on Entering Heaven Alive. Uh, once again, like we already know and we've already addressed that Entering Heaven Alive is going to be a different feel from Jack. It'll be a little bit chiller. It'll be a little bit more relaxed. He calls it a Sunday morning album. I really do dig this whole... Um, well, I've always liked his folk side of him. I always thought he did well, even though when he was in Cold Mountain, and he had that small part in Cold Mountain, that was where he was like a little traveling folk singer. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, this album is definitely going to give me that vibe, I think, that he's one of those old-timey country western singers that just travel around and sings. I have a feeling, I'm going to make a wide reach here, but I think after the summer tour, we're going to get the Entering Heaven Alive tour and it's probably going to be smaller clubs 
in smaller venues. Like recently, I went to the Orange Peel and saw Coheed and Cambria. That place is a thousand five hundred, one thousand fifty capacity. Jack has played the Orange Peel before. Um, I also think he's gonna play like uh, Charlotte, uh, the Fillmore maybe, or the Underground. Once again, those are two smaller venues, about a thousand and maybe two thousand capacity. Hell, I would love to see him in Caribou out at the Cat's Cradle, but that would sell out in a heartbeat, I'm sure. Or maybe it'd be, that'd be cool if it was a vault um, exclusive show, but I doubt that. He does those at the Blue Man Room. But here we are seeing the folk side of Jack again, which I really do dig. I think that um, we're going to see Fear of the Dawn being his rocker and experimental, like I've said already a million times. I also think he's going to win a Grammy this year on both of these albums. Entering Heaven Alive is going to be his country and folk and chill Sunday morning album. But back to what I was saying. Thursday this week, I'm going to be uh, photographing with a photo pass uh, the Weekend Friends. I'll put a link in the description so you can check out their music as well. And we were promised jetpacks. And then this weekend, I'll be going to Carowinds. Remember, everybody, we're not each other's enemies. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.